Hey folks, look who's back in front of the camera. Yeah, I have a story I want to tell that's not technically pony related, so I figured it'd be more appropriate to do it like this. Now, a little while ago, I asked my Twitter followers if they wanted to hear a story I had involving Ian and Claire Corlett, and this kind of sort of weird connection I had with them. Uh, I ran a poll, and a whole three people voted in it. But they all voted yes, so that's good enough for me. So, to start the story, I need to go back to 1999. I had graduated high school, and me and my two friends were wanting to go to BotCon that year, and the deal was made that my dad would drive us, because we're both we're all still new drivers, and I'm not good with driving long distances. And this was the time before uh, GPS, so we had to use old maps, and he was better at reading them. Plus, he wanted to see St. Paul, Minnesota, where it was being held. So, we went to BotCon, and one of the things I brought with me was a printout copy of a fanfic I wrote. Yes, I wrote in high school. Uh, my old fics are still up on my fanfiction.net account. You can read them if you want. They're not very good. Just warning you. But I brought a particular one because the guests were going to be uh, Scott McNeil, Ian Corlett, and Jim Burns. The story I wrote starred both Cheetor and Waspinator, and I figured, that's perfect, I'll get the two lead actors to sign it, as well as Jim Burns, because he's awesome anyway. So, I was at the pre-registration dinner the night before. My friends weren't, because they were going to sign at the door, which, uh, small tip, don't do that. <laughs> Make sure your friends are there with you, because it's just not that fun without them. But... While they're making the announcements of uh, all the con stuff you could buy now, figures, t-shirts, and whatever. Actually, I got my t-shirt here. And, you know, there's the front. There's the back. Doesn't fit anymore, but, you know, it's cool memento for it. But they're telling us all that, unfortunately, Ian couldn't make it because his wife had just had a baby. It's like, well... That sucks, but I understand it. Gotta be there with the family. Of course, the way the guy described it, I thought they had literally just had a baby like a few hours ago, but apparently it was a few weeks in early July, but still. So I was bummed, but I went on. I went ahead and got Scott McNeil to sign my fanfic. So you can see him right there. And, you know, Jim Burns is right there. Uh, other aside, always bring a camera with you. Do any convention, anywhere you go. Because not only did Scott sign this, he started reading it when I handed it to him. And my friend who was operating the camera was right there, like right off to the left. But we didn't have the camera with us because we went back to the hotel in between this. And we thought, hey, maybe we should bring the camera because who knows? We're like, nah, the panel's not till tomorrow. Nothing's going to happen. So always bring a camera. Anyway, so I got him to sign it, and I figured, well, you know, that's it. Eh, it's just going to be these two. That's still awesome. I don't want to discredit them, but I'll probably never be in a situation where I'll get Ian's autograph. Then I got into My Little Pony years later, and about two years ago, it was a BronyCon, and one of our friends suggested that, uh, hey, why don't we go to BronyCon, because it's relatively close to where we are. And me and my roommate were like, hell yeah, let's go to BronyCon. Especially when I found out the guest was going to be in Corlett. He was going to be on the guest. And Claire was going to be there. And I realized Claire was that baby his wife had, why he couldn't be at BotCon. Which blew my mind when I figured that out and made me feel really old. But still, I'm like, you know what, I'll get him to sign it. And what the heck, I'll get her to sign it. And I'll tell the story. Kind of funny little thing. Uh, my friend who suggested the idea couldn't make it because he just didn't have the money. Well, that sucks. So it was going to be me, my roommate, and my roommate's girlfriend at the time. She was going to drive because, again, I'm just not going to long distance driving. Unfortunately, her work decided to keep her late. Uh, we were always going to get up early to try to make it at the door and not have to wait in line for hours. We were going to have about, I don't know, four or five, I think. And they kept her till about, like, 1 in the morning. Do you see the problem here? She was still going to try to do it, though. She was a trooper. But she was so tired 
that she thought a vacuum in the living room was a little person who broke into the house. So, yeah, we didn't make that. <laughs> we weren't going to try to make her drive. So, again, I missed out on getting them to sign this fanfic. And then, when I started up Pony Talk, and I figured, what the heck, I'll break down, I'll make some social media account. I'll just do Twitter, because I still don't trust Facebook. And so I started following the actors from MLP that I liked. And I forget which one it was, but one of the suggestions was, would you like to follow Claire Corlett? I'm like, yeah, why not at this point? That's not creepy at all, Twitter. Fine, I'll follow her. And of course, that led to, would you like to follow Ian? I'm like, yeah, I'll follow him too. Why not? This leads to another interesting thing that just happened. Uh, right before Christmas, Claire decided to ask people on Twitter and some other places questions about what you and your family do for Christmas. How do you celebrate it? And I threw in a response, not thinking she would ever even look at it. I was like, it was something really, it was like, oh, my family gets together, we open presents, and then we bicker a lot, because it's kind of what we do. And I figured, hey, it's so generic, it's so not a funny thing that she would never use it. Well, she used it! I was surprised by that, like, holy crap, she used it, and turned into a pretty funny skit. I liked it. So, yeah, this weird thing keeps happening with me and the Corlets. I don't know what it is, but there you go. That's kind of the story. So, this thing, this simple fanfic, I just want to sign, has now become this really weird 16-year odyssey. And at this point, I am dedicated to getting this thing signed by them. I don't know how, don't know when, but it is going to happen. This, I vow! And that's it. That's my story. Uh, yeah, I'm done. Thanks for listening to my crazy rambling. And as you can tell, this is why I've moved to a little more structured review. And it's easier to make edits because I tend to ramble on a lot. But I hope the story's been entertaining. And I guess I'll see you guys again for more Pony Talk.